Hello, my name is Alex Rosen. I'm a pediatrician from Germany. Like many of you, I am horrified by the pictures which we're seeing coming from the nuclear plant in Fukushima in Japan. What we're seeing might be a nuclear meltdown in the making, and we're all very worried about the health effects of this catastrophe. As physicians, we are expected to know what is good and what is bad for people's health. And we are expected to inform the public when we notice a health hazard. The International Physicians for the Prevention of Nuclear War have been saying for a long time that nuclear energy is bad for your health. And I am afraid that the horrible events in Japan right now are proving us right. The health risks of nuclear energy do not start with the power plant. They start with uranium mining. Uranium is the fuel that powers nuclear plants, and it comes from countries like Canada, Australia, India, Russia, or Nigeria. In order to mine uranium, large strips of land are made uninhabitable for thousands of years. Indigenous people are dispelled from their land, and those who remain suffer from the medical consequences of radiation. As we see in Fukushima these days, nuclear power is never 100% safe. No technology is. Besides the danger of direct radiation affecting the plant's workers and the people living in the immediate vicinity, there's the danger of nuclear particles being spread by explosion and by fire into the atmosphere and being carried thousands of miles away by the winds, coming down as nuclear fallout. We have Tokyo with 35 million people living just a few hundred kilometers away from the plant. And depending on how the winds turn, there is a danger of these nu nuclear particles being spread towards Tokyo. Nuclear particles are, for example, iodine-131, which goes into the thyroid gland and can cause thyroid cancer, or strontium-90, which accumulates in the bones and can cause leukemia. We know about the effects of these nuclear particles because we have studied the health effects of the Chernobyl disaster, where we have seen a significant rise of thyroid cancers, a significant rise of childhood leukemia, of solid tumors, of cardiovascular diseases, of blindness, also, the rate of malformations, stillbirths, Down syndrome, and miscarriages increased sharply in the affected regions, but also all over Western Europe after the Chernobyl disaster. You also have to take into consideration the extreme psychological and social impact such a disaster has on the population. But nuclear power plants are not only a threat to people's health when there is an accident. Even during so-called normal service, there is radiation being emitted from nuclear power plants. A study performed by the German Childhood Cancer Registry just two years ago showed a significant increase in the rate of childhood leukemia in the five kilometer area around a nuclear power plant, as well as a significant rise in all types of childhood cancer, depending on the distance that the children lived away from the nuclear power plant. Finally, there's the issue of nuclear waste. Not only can it be used to produce nuclear weapons, but there's also no solution where it can be stored for thousands of years that it's still emitting radiation. In Germany, the attempt to find a final storage site for nuclear waste has led to large-scale demonstrations, because people see that the salt mines, which have so far been used as storage sites, are causing a great threat to the people living in the vicinity. So, in conclusion, the International Physicians for the Prevention of Nuclear War are warning that nuclear energy is bad for people's health. Think about it.